Yes, I just wanted to give you an overview of the My Meeting Pro app. Here is our product evolution. We've moved from My Meeting Pro Cost, which is free, to the My Meeting Cost Plus, which is an ad free version of My Meeting Pro. We've then moved to My Meeting Pro Plan, which is $1.99, to the My Meeting Pro Facilitator HD for iPad, which is $9.99 and the My Meeting Pro iPhone, which is a $2.99 app. And today I'm going to be talking about the My Meeting Pro Facilitator HD 2.0, which has some exciting features, and I'm going to talk to you about them today. Here is a, a screenshot from our 1.0 version. Um, so on our 2.0 version, you'll see the My Meeting screen that looks similar. So if you, for example, want to check the settings and touch the settings, you'll see um, something come up that looks like this. So as you notice, you can adjust the start or end sounds. You can adjust the notification ping when agenda items automatically progress. You can adjust the meeting costs on whether or not to display those or not. You could choose to record the entire meeting or not, to display the agenda pers purpose or not to display the agenda item time elapsed or to uh, display your logos in emails. We've had some clients request that so we've included it and you can select the currency for your cost calculation so depending upon if you're one of our international participants and by the way 60 percent of our our sales are coming from international and you could choose the average salary of attendees and select the logo for your emails to go out. So if you were to look at the My Meeting screen and you were to touch the plus, um, you would see a screen come up where you can choose the name of your meeting. You can also, in the next line, choose your location and the start and end time. You could then uh, touch the meeting title and the four steps of an effective meeting comes up which include plan, facilitate, summarize, and distribute. So if you hit the, the plan section, this would come up and you could choose to add a meeting objective if you wanted. If you then wanted to click on add attendees, um, you would then be able to add those attendees from your contact list. So here I'm adding Matt Matthew Mangino and I also add Silvana Criminini. She has multiple emails so I'll select which email to use. And so as I've added, as you see I've added uh, six different attendees here and so if I wanted to add agenda items then I would click on the plus button which would click on add agenda items. As you can see here, I'm adding agenda items, which you can add a title or you can add a purpose. And you can also select um, the time that each agenda item lasts. And here is a completed uh, screen of the planned meeting. And when I'm done, I can click the email agenda. And an email such as this will pop up, which will send a detailed agenda to all of your attendees. Now, as, if you're having an online meeting, you can see the URL that I've pasted here, which is the location of our upcoming URL for our online meeting. And you could use that as, to send that out to your attendees. So when I'm done planning the meeting, I could then click on Facilitate. And this is the facilitation screen. And I'll explain several things. You, you see a start and an end button up there at the top. So when I'm ready to start the meeting, I could start the meeting. And the scroll bar begins to move. It's green as long as you're running on schedule. You can choose different colors uh, to take notes with. You see I've demonstrated those colors. You can click on undo to undo any notes that you've taken. You also see in the upper right of the cost of the meeting and the total elapsed time or the total time remaining. As you notice the yellow here is what the nav bar looks like when you're running behind schedule. So um, as you notice the start button after you've started a meeting it turns into pause so you can pause the meeting if you'd like to. 
Now, once I'm done with the meeting, I can go into the Summarize screen and I can summarize uh, my meeting notes. You can give an achievement rating on a scale of 1 to 5 on each of your, um, on how well the, the, the group achieved their, uh, the meeting results today. And uh, once I'm done summarizing the meeting, I can go into Distribute and decide what it is I want to distribute. And when I click on email, it sends up a, a summary, and boom, I'm off to my next meeting.